For the past two decades, from the dawn of the 21st century till 2020, India has risen to become one of the best emerging countries to invest in. From the start till 2022, the cumulative foreign direct investment India has received has totaled over 680 billion US dollars. At the same time, their economy, estimated by the nominal gross domestic product, rose from $476 billion to $2.7 trillion. These two figures have created India to become a world-class economy that is seeking to become the next economic powerhouse. There is, on the other hand, one country that has been leading these investments. And no, it's not the nation's most known allies, but rather a tiny nation that hails all the way from Southeast Asia. Yes, we're talking about Singapore, and it has stood as India's top source of foreign investments for the past three years. From the 2018 to the 2021 financial year, Singapore has collectively invested over $55 billion. These have, in recent years, been positioning the two countries to be a game-changing economic partnership. So why is Singapore choosing India as its prime investment destination? Before we move on, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe for more. Singapore-India relations have been relatively strong throughout modern history. Its first diplomatic relations date all the way back to 1965, just two weeks after Singapore's independence. These partnerships would eventually evolve as then-Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew of Singapore maintained high contacts with the South Asian country. He and then-Indian leaders Indira Gandhi and Maraji Desai consecutively visited each other's country to continue their relationships. Fast forward to the 1990s, the two countries' bilateral relationship would start to emerge, led by India's economic reforms that made the nation an attractive economic destination. It was even the then Prime Minister, Go Chok Tong, who in the 1990s became intrigued in the Indian economy to which he eventually visited. During the same date, Singaporean companies have been engaging in the Indian economies already, participating in the nation as foreign institutional investors. By the 21st century, a free trade agreement was signed and it would eventually be one of the bilateral partnerships that would boost business interactions with each other's countries, as it promoted a better environment for both in their trade, investments, education, technology collaboration, and so much more. Today, we are able to see the great collaboration of the two nations. There are currently half a million Indians living in Singapore, making it one of its biggest ethnic groups in the nation besides Malay and Chinese. Furthermore, Singapore is also an attractive destination for Indian entrepreneurs and investors. Well, after all, Singapore is one of the best financial hubs around the world. According to a report in 2018, the cumulative FDI from India to Singapore stood at $62.9 billion, making the two countries exchange investment opportunities one after another. Singapore is also one of the biggest trading partners of India. Their total trade with each other has consecutively grown over the years, and by 2020, it stood at over $20 billion. One of the biggest breakthroughs of these two partnerships is India's Smart City Initiative. It was a plan that would transform the urban areas of the nation and become a house for its overall economic growth and population. Singapore, as an already smart city and well ahead of its time, has played a key role in helping India reach its smart city dreams. It was the current Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, who reached out to Singapore in 2015 in helping apply this success in India. Since then, Singapore has laid down the framework, governance, training and management in helping India succeed. The future, however, is going to be the most exciting part. Why? Because of the recent upgrades to their relations. Singapore and India have continuously exchanged talks and partnerships, and some of these are ought to help each other's country by collaborating in the most disruptive advanced technologies. The two countries are renowned for their startup environment, and it is also known that the unicorn businesses of one another are always keen on collaborating and engaging. Even the state-owned Temasek Holdings is a known active investor within the country. It has so far injected over $11 billion worth of investments in Indian companies and is looking for more. These have well positioned the Indian-Singapore relations to be tied with each other in terms of culture, economics, and even its blockbuster startup journeys. It could also be said that the future of both countries is going to be more intertwined in the decades to come.